Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight is going to be such a phenomenal evening. Uh, my name is Ty. I'm based here in Auckland, New Zealand. Originally from South Africa. Spent some time in California, so that's why the accent's probably a little bit off. But guys, I'm just I'm fired up for what is happening. Not just in the crypto space, but I've got a burning heart to just help as many people step into wholeness and freedom as possible. And by freedom, I mean freedom in your spirit, mind, your emotions, your body, and your finances as well. And so part of that journey for myself was, you know, I started looking into the whole crypto thing a few years back, heard a few horror stories left and right of friends and family that put their money in the wrong place, didn't understand security, trusted someone else to manage their funds. That's also a big red flag. And, uh, and maybe you have a story similar to that or you know someone with that. But, you know, the more professionals that you get connected to in this space, the ones that have been here for more than, you know, six months, 12 months, you start to understand a few things that we're in what I believe is one of the biggest moments in history and, and a legitimate massive wealth transfer. And I say that because money and the way that we interact and, and transact and store value, all those kinds of things is changing. And, and tonight we have someone who's been in the space far longer than I am. And, um, and he's going to share, just honestly, I'm not even too sure because every time he shares, he brings so much more value to the table. He's been in the trading and investing space and managing funds for over 20 years, educating at a super high level as well. And he's based in Taupo, New Zealand, and it is always such a privilege to have him with us. So I am just going to cut straight into it, guys. I don't want to take up any more time because Mike is an absolute legend. And so Michael Jacobson, based down in Topol, let me find you in the chat, my man, and bring you on here so we can launch this party. I can, there you are, you unmute yourself. I'm going to find you and pin you. Guys, drop some 222s in the chat for Mike. Bro, just so, so, so good to have you with us as always. Thank you so much for your time this evening. And I'm just excited, bro. Like, I know we've been, we've talked about crypto and trading for years together, but you've been in this personally for a long time. You've watched the evolution of it all and, and you've got some profound wisdom and always some amazing knowledge to share. And tonight, I know we got a bunch of our team on, but at the same time, a lot of guests live watching this later who probably don't know much about crypto at all. And, uh, and I'm just excited for them to be able to hear from you. Uh, and so without further ado, man, I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, Ty. And it's just great to be on here tonight. And uh, you're not wrong, Ty. Like, it is really a pivotal moment um, in history because there is a massive wealth transfer coming. And that's simply because we're exiting a, 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 a entering time where there's a brand new technology that's never existed before mm -hmm. that has potential to change so much. Um, so it's just an exciting time. Um, now, can you just allow me to share my screen, Ty? I've got a couple of things that I would like to, to share. That'd be awesome. And let's just do that first. Share screen. And I mean, so great to have people from everywhere tonight. And I guess um, one of the reasons you're joining us is because um, of this. Just type a one in the chat if you can see my screen with my chart, um, just so I know that everyone is on page. Beautiful. Okay, so it's because of this. It's because we've seen that mass, uh, recently we've had a massive rise in Bitcoin. Um, and a lot of people starting to ask the question, well, hang on, I thought Bitcoin was at the end of itself. Um, you know, what's happening? Is is this it? Or what's going to happen next? Um, and so just a bit about myself, like Ty said, I've been in the trading space for about 20, 22 years now. Um, investing, been a fund manager, worked for a couple of banks. Uh, custody client funds, worked in education, um, and these days still in education, and also trade my own funds and custody funds for clients. So um, I got it back into crypto back in 2017, um, when Bitcoin was first doing its huge run. This is, and this just chart here is actually only back 2018. I was back in this area here when it looked like we reached an all-time high. It looked absolutely incredible. We would then went into a bear trough for quite a while, as you can see, and we've had this huge explosive run up 2022. Um, and then a lot of people were asking the question, well, you know, is Bitcoin dead? Like, is that it? Like, what's next? Um, and the fact is it wasn't dead. It was simply doing what it always does. It has an accumulation phase, has a run, has another massive bear market because the market moves in cycles. No market ever moves up in a straight line. We have another accumulation phase and all of a sudden, you know, in the last year, we're now up um, over 300% from the lows. So that's a massive, massive run up in price. And so I guess the question is, why is it important now? Why is it something that we need to be aware of? Um, and there's a couple of things I want to share tonight that helps you, hopefully helps you understand where we are in this cycle, because 
I mean, imagine if, let's go back to where we are now. Imagine if you got in at this period here and you got this big run up in price. Now, these things are actually possible to predict because when we look at certain models, they actually tell us in relation to how much supply of a particular asset is available, what could happen next. Now, this chart here is by one of probably the most famous Bitcoin analysts in the world. And what it tells us is it shows us the price of Bitcoin. And I'm going to start with Bitcoin, then we'll move on to other things. But I'm going to start with Bitcoin. And each of these lines represents a time every four years where Bitcoin is halved. We have what we call a halving where the supply decreases. Now, what you'll notice is just before this horizontal line, we have these little blue dots. And the red dots represent the beginning of what we call a bull market. That is when all the buyers step in, all the long-term investors step in and start to buy the particular asset that they're investing in. And that's when we have a massive explosion in price. And if we look back to this chart, you can see that we have uh, we had a bull run early back here. Uh, let me just put on the pointer. Our first one was all the way back here. And we had a bull run all the way up to 20,000. Then we had another one here, all the way up to 60,000. And we've just started the new one. And so this chart was taken last month. And notice that we hadn't yet printed the red dot, which indicated when the the bull Michael, uh, the, the bull Michael, the bull market was starting. It's a cross between bull and uh, cycle in market, which is my name, Michael. So the bull cycle. Now, this analyst, his name is Plan B. He's the top uh, Bitcoin analyst on Twitter. He created what we call the stock to flow model. And that tells us uh, that that is typified in this graph here, which tells us what Bitcoin is going to do when we're going to have massive demand. So the question is, why is it important? It's because we have the next halving next month. And as you can see, Every time we have the halving of Bitcoin, we have a huge explosion in price. So this is the latest one from this month. And look, we've just printed our red dot, which tells us that we just started the next bull run, which is amazing. So as you can see, every time we've had the red dot, we've had a massive explosion in price. And this has been modeled all the way back in 2011. So what is his prediction? Well, with the stock to flow model it actually tells us based on the supply of any particular asset and uh, um, the demand for it and the price what it could be in the future so um, because the supply is constantly decreasing the model tells us that by 2025 we'll be looking at somewhere around half a million dollars now i'm not going to tell you that's going to happen with certainty but this analyst has been right going back to 2011. so he if you look at him on twitter um, again, one of the top Bitcoin analysts in the world. He has predicted every bull run since 2011. So this is what he's telling us. Now, what I'm going to go to now is something slightly differently, but it's going to give you context to answer the question, am I too late? Because we, we can see that price has you know, started all the way back here. We've had a massive run up to 65,000. We've had a 90% collapse. Now, at this point, most of the people in the world were saying, look, Bitcoin's just a fad. It's just a trend. Like, it's over. That's it. But the people who understand that there's a brand new technology that now exists in blockchain that has never existed before, which is revolutionizing banking, logistics, voting, healthcare, um, uh, vehicular transport, every, every mode of life. And it's going to be transforming finance as well. So people who realize that, they still held their Bitcoin. They still held their other crypto because they knew Bitcoin leads the way. And then once Bitcoin has its run, it pulls back and then all the other old coins go as well. So they realized that this, this new asset class of crypto was actually the future. So what I'm going to do now is help give you some context to where are you? Where are we in this particular financial cycle? Now, what I'm going to show you here is what we call the S curve. And you can have a look online. This is a very, very popular model that's used to help us understand the adoption of any technology. Now, with an S curve, what happens is you have some sort of new innovation that comes out at the beginning, starts very, very slowly. Then you get some early adopters and they realize, hmm, there could be something here. This could be a business model. This could 
This could be an idea that we could exploit. This could be a financial opportunity. You get more people stepping in over time. The market starts to accept it. Then people begin to realize, actually, there could be something to this. And so the curve goes up. And that says there's more demand. There's more widespread adoption of this technology. And then over time, which is normally years, demand flattens out and we end our S-curve. So you can see it ends up in this very flat S-curve. Now, if we look back in history, we can see that every brand new technology that has ever existed has gone through exactly the same cycle. So what we can see here, going back to the 1900s, we can see S-curves for all new innovations that have ever come out. Telephone, electricity, radio, fridge, stove. Have a look at the microwave, this blue one here. Look how quickly that exploded. Now people didn't have to use stoves. Look how steep that S-curve was. And then over 80%, it started to flatten off. <clears throat> look at the internet. Look at the cell phone. In fact, the cell phone is probably the steepest. That blue line straight up, it's still going up because the invention is still unfolding. There are still areas of the world that have not fully adopted the cell phone and all its different nuances in the way it transforms business and communication, personal banking, things like that. Color TV, massive rise. And then sure enough, it flattens off. As you can see, the more time there is, the flatter each of these curves are. So the question is, where are we with blockchain? Where are we with technology? Where are we with crypto? So we are basically somewhere around here. We've had the early adopters come in. We've seen a massive rise to $25,000 of Bitcoin. We've seen an increase to $66,000. And we've just hit $70,000 over the weekend. Massive over 350% increase in your investment from 12 months ago. So we are somewhere around here, somewhere between 15 and 25% of adoption. And now a lot of you think, well, maybe it's too late. Well, look how much further we have to go in this entire space. Now, this curve not only represents Bitcoin, it represents all of crypto. And that's because crypto is growing at twice the rate of the internet. Again, at the moment, it's only been adopted by around 1 billion people or slightly less than 1 billion people worldwide. In five years time, they estimate 4 billion people, half the population of the world would be using crypto every single day. So you can see that this is really just the beginning. The other reason why it's, it's, it's so important to answer the question, when should I get in, is that right now every bank in the world is pouring all its resources into developing crypto trading and investment platforms. Why? Because they know it's a generationally changing technology. They know it's it's something that's going to transform the way that they do finance and business. And it's really important that you don't just do what people say, you should do what they do. And the banks have been saying, oh, we're not so interested in crypto, we're not so interested in Bitcoin. But if you look at what they're doing, they're pouring all available resources into uh, creating Bitcoin ETFs. There's now 11 brand new ETFs that you can buy Bitcoin on an exchange, and that's available to every pension fund, every superannuation fund, every hedge fund, every bank in the world. So now everyone has the chance to be in Bitcoin, where five years ago you had to be a retail trader. And so this is the only time in history where a normal person like you and I has the ability to beat the banks front run the bigger players and be in before them and so when we look at this this sort of space we see we have a long way to go it's something that has just begun and that's why we want to be in so again to answer the question well why is it important now well if we look back in the past the past often predicts what the future will be like. It's not a perfect mirror, but it does predict what the future will be like. So if we look at Bitcoin and see, okay, if we go back over the past 13 years, how has Bitcoin, as one example, responded when it has broken a previous all-time high? So remember I said that Bitcoin has just broken the all-time high of 65,000, now peaking at 70,000. Let's look at what happened over the past 13 years. So in 2012, we broke the all-time all high. Look what happened. 2016, we broke the all-time high. Look what happened. These are real charts. 2018, we broke the all-time high. Look what happened. And we just broke the all-time high over the weekend. 
So what does that tell you? It says that every time we break the all-time high, when we have the halving cycle, we typically get a huge explosion in price. This first one was back in 2012, so it went from $20 to $90, 400% return. Back in 2016, we went from $1,200 to uh, $4,800, 400% return. In 2020, it went from $16,000 up to $52,000, very, very similar return. And right now, we're around the $70,000 region mark. So a lot of analysts are predicting much higher, again, because we're right at the beginning of the S curve. We're right at the beginning of adoption. So that's actually quite exciting because it lets us know that this thing has a lot longer to run. So what about me? What are some projects I'm interested in? Um, and maybe some, what are some projects that I bought in the past? So one that I'm looking at, and again, none of this is financial advice, um, but one of these ones that I'm looking at is called Flow. And, and I own this. I don't own a lot, but I do own some. Um, and I'm giving you an understanding of what it what it's like to get in early before market explodes. So I, I'm in Flow. As you can see, it's in the current uptrend. Uh, we're about $1.50 now. And you might say, Michael, why am I buying this now? Well, I like the project. I think it's amazing. It's called Flow. You can find it anywhere in TradingView. Now, but if we zoom out, Notice we had the breakout back here in the end of last year. If we zoom out, why am I buying this now? Well, if we look at the past, and this is a real chart, if we look at the past, you can see that it is extremely, 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 extremely cheap at $1.50. And as you can see all the way back here, it peaked out at around $42. So this is what we call an accumulation phase where we have a collapse in price for a number of different reasons. And then price just goes in a range for a long period of time, over a year. Now compared to the all-time high, imagine if this got even halfway up to the all-time high. You know, you're making 2,000% return on your money. So in any investing project, the basic rule is you always want to buy low and sell high. This is something I'm super interested in because I think the project is valuable. And because I think, well, there's an incredible amount of space for this particular asset to run. So Ty, that's sort of where we are in the adoption phase. We're sort of right at that cusp where people are realizing actually Bitcoin is a thing. It's actually real. Um, it's here to stay, and there is a lot of potential uh, to come. So what are your thoughts on that? Man, just love the way you laid that out. <laughs> like uh, Everything, going back, showing the halving, showing the adoption. And I think like that's the thing that most people don't realize is just, you know, most people, I remember that they, they think of crypto and they think like, oh, that's crazy. It's unpredictable. It's up and down. It's all over the place. It's volatile. It's dangerous. Everybody loses their money. Stay away from that. And um and yeah and they and they and they stick to their knitting and and watch people around them create some horror stories mostly uneducated ones but then you you know then then you get some stories like you've had right and it's like things like flow it's like the first time I heard about flow and someone break it down it blew me away when I realized like what they are what they're actually doing what they're offering the marketplace you realize like this is a legitimate company with use case they have contracts with the NBA the NFL the UFC they're they're like a very very legitimate company and they're just experiencing a huge pullback like everything in crypto right now so it's like I I love how you broke that down, man. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just keen to keep the conversation going. The night is young. Uh, it, I mean, if you've got anything else up your sleeve already, otherwise I've always got a, a question in mind, but um, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, if you've really got something else on hand, someone said in there, what about XRP? I know you've got plenty to say about that. Uh, that was one question. Yeah. I in the chat. So why don't we go there and, and move from there? Yeah, absolutely. So like, again, I started buying back in uh, 2017, 2018. And because we were at the beginning of the bull cycle on a number of those projects, um, a lot of them, for example, I bought VeChain back in 2018 and it went up 5,000%. And so really the, the the timing factor is really critical when we're looking at, at buying into a new asset class. So we, we, we don't want to buy too high. Um, but again, if you, if you look at that option with, with Bitcoin, right now is the time where you want to start looking at pot potentially getting in. Not financial advice, um, but if you see what it did in the past, well, you know, we're, we're, in the, we're in the halving cycle. This is the time where it explodes. But if you can get in early, 
then that's when you can make those massive gains. So VChain was another one I looked at. Let's just share my screen and we will look at, at XRP. So I've been in, investing in XRP since 2018 as well. Um, and there's a reason for that. The reason is I used to work uh, for two different banks and every day I would actually use the SWIFT system. I would settle the Nostro Vostro accounts um, every single day. So we, we were transacting money all around the world. And when I looked at XRP, I realized that their entire goal was to free up all of the bank's capital so they could redeploy it. So for example, every bank has to hold billions of dollars in foreign currency reserves in case a big player wants to make a big foreign currency transaction. If banks utilize Ripple Tech and XRP as a liquidity asset, then all of those billions of dollars are now free to be redeployed to earn more interest. So if the banks use Ripple, actually save 60% on their, sorry, 30% um, on their bottom line, if they use their tech, if they also use XRP, they they add, they save another thirty percent. So the bank ends up saving sixty percent on their bottom line. Um, the other thing is that they're creating central bank digital currencies. One of only three companies in the world who are doing that for countries, and they potentially will be a bridging asset for a lot of other uh, uh, currencies around the world. So I believe XRP potentially has <clears throat> the biggest opportunity out there simply because the biggest industry in the world is finance. And if you can have a, an asset that can bridge currencies, any currency, instantaneously. So you can send, I could send, if I had it, $50 billion to Tim, Timbuktu, and it would go, it would be there within five seconds, and it would be a totally free transaction. But well, it's about three cents. It costs you three cents to send $50 billion to Timbuktu. And it's within five seconds. So that sort of transactional power doesn't exist right now. And the bank's, any bank's biggest cost is its ability, sorry, is its inability to transact funds quickly and settle them immediately. They have to be settled immediately to avoid foreign exchange risk. So XRP is this asset. It has the ability to do that. So when I look at XRP, as we have it here, it actually represents one of the best possible charts in crypto. As you can see, it had one of the greatest runs of all time back in 2017. If we put, um, it went up almost 14,000% in one year. But what you can see is that Ripple has been coiling. The chart is telling us it's ready to break out of this pattern. Now, once XRP breaks out of this pattern, the first stop will be the all-time high, uh, which is about $3. This chart's slightly different. It's about $3.50. So from where we are now, if it hits that, you know, you're making 400% return on your money. But um, if the banks utilize XRP for the foreign exchange market, which, which settles $6 trillion a day, if XRP cornered just 10% of that market, so 10% of all the transactions in the world every day were going through XRP, the price would be about two or $300 per XRP. So... I'm not saying that will happen, but the potential of Ripple is probably one of the largest because they have over 250 partnerships with global banks, financial institutions around the world. Bank of America, um, Deutsche Bank, Citibank, they have signed contracts with over, I think, 15 governments. So when you look at investing into crypto, you don't want to buy a mean coin, even though they can make you money. You want to be buying the Amazons and the Googles of the future. You know, imagine if we knew 20 years ago that Amazon was going to be, you know, as big as it is now. But Amazon and Google and Yahoo and YouTube, they represent the core infrastructure of the Internet, which back then was a brand new technology. And so the best way to approach investing in crypto is you want to be investing in the infrastructure that has significant value. That's actually going to hold the weight of what this entire brand new ecosystem is being built on. So XRP is one that I'm looking at. Um, another one that I think that is a huge game player is, is what we call Chainlink. Um, it's an Oracle. I believe it has some of the best opportunity out there from to the all-time high from where we are now, currently at $20. Um, it's about 160% at $53, but I think it has a long way to go. Um, the other one is Ethereum, obviously, because the NFT market is almost exclusively um, based on Ether. 
And what happens in, in crypto is that Bitcoin makes the first move, as we've seen it breaking $70,000. It typically has a bit of a breather, and then a lot of the money go into all the other coins, called altcoins. So we will see, we absolutely will see Ethereum breach $5,000, and then it will be on its way to $10,000. So XRP, I think, is amazing. Flow is amazing. Another one I think is really powerful is Sand. This is a gaming coin. Um, and look, imagine if it went back to its all-time high, $8. We're at 80 cents now. Now, if we zoom in and have a look at um, what it looks like in a lower time frame, this is one that I'm also in. And when you zoom it out, you realize, wow, we have a long way to go. I was buying about here somewhere. We had our first run up. We had a pullback because the market never moves in a straight line. Since then, uh, position is up about almost 90%. But again, if we zoom out and we wait a couple of years, you know, to the all-time high, we're going up close to 900%. So gaming coins, a lot of potential. But what you invest in has to have utility. Well, it doesn't have to. It's up to you. But you want something that's going to be there for the long run, like a Yahoo, like a Google, like an Amazon. These are the ones that have significant value. So I'm looking at some of these coins Look at things that have value. Don't just buy things because people tell you. Do your own research. But these are just a couple of examples to show you that there is definitely a lot of potential out there. All right. So good. As always, amazing. Uh, just taking it all in. I love the way that, um, A, the projects you're mentioning, I love all of them. And just the way you approach the market, man, like with not just uh, being fresh to it, obviously, but you're coming with experience having gone through cycles in, in the finance space in general. And I got one more question, I suppose, in that space that, that's sitting in me. Since we're talking about XRP, talking about banks, uh, I'm sure you're tracking with it. But in the context of what we're experiencing in the world right now with the dollar and with banks and, and possibly more banks failing, like how do you see that? I mean, it's a big question. Between banks failing, talk of, you know, what happens if the internet goes down and governments, I mean, there's a lot of big things in there, but that's, I know, sitting on people's minds in the context of why should I not just hoard cash under my mattress kind of vibe <laughs> or buy silver and gold or all of the above. But um, any thoughts on all of that? Again, not expecting financial advice, but you've seen these things for a long time. You, and you've studied this beyond depth. So I'd love to get your thoughts on some of that stuff, bro. Mm. What's really interesting is that recently we've got the BRICS nations. So we've got Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa they have all just agreed to create their own independent currency outside of the US dollar, which is huge uh, because at the moment, the entire world is based on the petrodollar system, which is uh, all oil has to be bought and traded in US dollars. So now you have Russia, one of the biggest oil, com oil countries in the world. Um, you've got China, one of the biggest oil um, users in the world. And these other massive countries like India, who now are wanting to sidestep the US dollar and trade an independent currency. That's huge. So we, that's probably going to be um, currency backed by some sort of digital uh, value. That's massive. The other thing is that if you are someone who believes that there's going to be a lot of disruption, internet disruption, all that sort of thing, the beauty about owning crypto is that it can be stored safely. It, it, it can't be hacked. If Once you take it offline and, and store it in a cold wallet, it's untouchable. The bank can't take it from you. The government can't take it from you. No one can touch it. You are the only one who, who's access to it. So as far as a store of value that is that can be preservable, a store of value that can remain safe, um, and a store of value that is um, uh, deflationary in its nature, like there's nothing you can really compare to Bitcoin, but also other cryptocurrencies stored safely. The government can't take it from you. The bank can't take it from you. You can actually earn interest on it while you're storing it. So a lot of amazing potential, but definitely the fact that the US dollar is probably going to be dethroned from its global reserve stage, that's going to mean a lot of people. Instead, so they're not going to go and they're not going to put money in US dollars anymore. And they're probably not going to put it in Russian rubles. And they're probably not going to put it in Chinese currency. Where's it going to go? It's going to go into crypto in all its multifaceted arms because that's where the potential is. That's where the growth is. So that's sort of what I see happening. Regardless of what happens with disruptive stuff, your um, wealth can be stored in safe places that no one can touch it. And that's ideally what you want. It puts you in power and in charge of your wealth and you call the shots on that. The bank doesn't call the shots. You call the shots on that. And that's why the, the that's the power of decentralization. 
you are empowered to make decisions with your money and no one can take it from you. Wow, man, dude, I, I so appreciate that. I've got, I've got one last thought in my mind here because you've seen a lot of people also navigate the space around you over the, over the last, you know, decade plus, uh, double decade really, as crypto less. But in that sense, you know, for someone who maybe hasn't seen, a, a, well, they're gonna watch this recording and see aspects of what you've already shared. But for someone that um, is looking at it all and going, ah, oh, I'm not sure, I'm just gonna keep watching in that sense. And, or, and on the flip side, you've got someone who might just be like, I wanna keep watching. Um, what would you say to that person? And then what would you also say to the other person that's like, I'm gonna figure this out on my own. What kind of value do you place on education and doing this the right way? Those two camps, the I'm gonna keep watching and, and just watch this thing happen and, want, and then look back and, and we'll probably wish for coming back in time. And then the other side, how would you advise people to actually enter this space uh, based on what you've actually seen and experienced? Yeah, good questions. Someone came to me back in 2009, told me about Bitcoin. And they said, man, this could be amazing. It's a brand new digital currency. Like you should buy some. And I was like, ah, I'll just watch it and see what happens. Like that's a real story. Um, and I, I wish I bought it. I, I just didn't pay attention back then. I wish I listened. So the people who say, I'm just going to watch and see what happens, you'll probably miss the boat um, because this is going to be, at the moment, this is the fastest adoption of technology we've ever seen like back in the 90s internet was the fastest thing ever blockchain and crypto is growing at twice the speed of the internet it's been adopted at twice the speed i think the internet was like 62 percent a year this is 130 percent every year it's growing so don't miss the boat um a lot of people when they think look oh, i just want to find out i want to learn online well unfortunately the youtube is a swamp and there's a lot of people who've made money and there's a lot of people who've lost money and there's a lot of scammers out there. And when I started in trading, I lost all my money because I didn't have an education. I didn't know what I was doing. And for a lot of people, financial markets is a new world. It's a new language. It's stuff you don't know. Like what's a margin call? Most people on this call wouldn't know what that is. You know, what's a spread? What's bank manipulation? If you if you jump into a, a game like this without understanding, like it's, it's a war. <laughs> and so getting an education actually gives you the understanding of the language, helps you understand the culture of trading and investing, helps you understand what to avoid, um, what to pursue, what to focus on. Like if you haven't got that through education, then you probably will lose your money or you'll be ruled by your emotions or you'll follow the crowd. But when you get an education that actually gives you a streamlined approach in structured learning and gives you a strategy, helps you understand risk management. Because you haven't got, if you haven't got that, you're just going to lose it all. Uh, gives you a streamlined approach to risk management, then you will get in big trouble. Like when the market tanked ninety percent, a lot of people who weren't prepared and didn't understand the cycles, they sold everything at the bottom. Bottom. I had one client come to me, and there was a particular asset they were investing in. It had gone down ninety percent. He called me, said, "Michael, I want you to sell all of it." And I was like, "Are you sure?" He said, "Yep, sell all of it." So I sold all of it. On that same day, I was doubling up my position. And then from that day, it went up another 50 to 60%. So he sold everything at the bottom because he didn't have an education. That I can't tell you what to do with your money, but when you learn to understand it yourself and read it correctly, you'll know this is not a time I should sell and this is not a time I should buy. So having education is probably the number one thing. Actually learning how it works and learning to approach it with a methodical way, with a risk-based approach. Um, like if you haven't got that, like good luck. I, I would not suggest going to YouTube it because that's what I did. A lot of people do that, and there's it's just a swamp. So having a proven strategy, risk management, streamlined approach, like it's definitely the way to go. And but just don't miss the bus because it's left. Right, so good. Thank you. I just love it. I mean. I mean Yo, uh, I don't have a story of 2009. I do have a story of years and years and years ago. I need to go and figure out when it was, when someone also sat me down and they were talking about buying Bitcoin. They were talking about maxing out their credit card, just going for it and buying it. And honestly, that would have been a great time to still do it. Not as early as 2009, but early enough to be like, oh. But at the same time, we're still fresh, right? We're still early. There's still, basically with these ETFs, now that that gives a green light to just trillions, like beyond count, right? Like the amount of people that now have access to the space because they've been holding out. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll drop one stat at least because I just I love this stuff. Like when you truly understand what's going on, it's like for one in every three Americans, I believe there's a stock trading account, something to that nature. And and the amount of money that is moving inside of those accounts is ridiculous. But there's about one crypto wallet for every 10,000. And in that sense, Bitcoin has just been in a too hard basket for a lot of people. But now that these big ETFs have been approved for BlackRock, BlackRock, Fidelity, et cetera, it now just makes it easy because anyone with a stock trading account can get access to it through these ETFs. And therefore they're like, oh, okay, well, they think it's all right. I think now we should allocate maybe 1% of our fund. Well, then it becomes 5%. Then you get some people in Australia that I've heard of, which are now dropping, tw- they've just allocated like 20% of their big holdings to it because they're like, this actually is more than a thing. Let's go. And, and so we are already still early in that sense. Like we're, we're part of that early curve. I love that first curve that you showed. I really do believe that tr- that from what I've also been learning, like we are still very early. Like, yeah, we all wish we bought Bitcoin. Maybe you do like, you know, if you're on this call, you know, early last year or the years before that, but right now zoom out, give yourself time and realize, you know, people buy property and hold it for 10 years before they think it's going to double in value. And over here, uh, your money can double a whole lot quicker and, and still conservatively really in the sense of things like Bitcoin and, and other things like that. But Mike, honestly, man, just want to say such a big thank you. Like you dropped so much gold and so much value on us this evening. Love and appreciate you and there so much. Look forward to seeing your face hopefully again soon. I'm sure it's time for another event down there in Topol. Guys, drop some fire emojis in the chat from Mike. Uh, and uh, and I know that you all of us on the inside here on the Freedom Investor team, we're probably going to be hearing from you again very, very soon because we all hang out and do this thing on the regular. But um, let me just figure out all my stuff here on Zoom for a second. And, and transition to the next phase. So guys, tonight, I, I've got some more up my sleeve, but really, uh, I'm so excited for what's going on in this space. I'm so glad if you're watching this live or this recording that you got to experience Mike's perspective on this because it's very rare to be able to sit down and learn from someone that's been in the investing space for over 20 years. And, and he dropped so many nuggets on us this evening. So go back and rewatch this, but for now, I just wanna keep going. There's something I wanna show you. So when I got started in this space, I didn't have a clue. I heard people around me, you know, extended family members that, you know, grew their crypto over time from like two grand to 20 clicked on a bad link, watched it all drained instantly. And I heard those stories and I'm like, man, crypto sounds scary. Uh, because if you do it wrong, if you if you want to unbank yourself and put yourself in an opportunity to make a lot of gains, you've also got to do it the right way. Otherwise, you become one of those horrible statistics. And so I looked at all those stories around me and I thought, mm-hmm. how do I do this? How do I leapfrog those that have been doing this for five years around me, but still got wrecked? How do I do it the right way? And so in the midst of that, you know, my dear friend, John, who I grew up with here in New Zealand, he was in Canada with his uh, family and he joined this platform. And after a year of, you know, gaining value from it, he decided at that point to share it with me. And so, I mean, I shared it with my brother and my mates way quicker than a year because I experienced value faster and I legitimately made money faster. So, I mean, I joined IM Academy. Mm-hmm. I started learning, started earning. And uh, I was going to check who's not muted for a second. There we go. And um, and yeah, my, my story is I just started applying the info I was learning. I got involved. I started learning. And I'm going to screen share for a second and show what I mean. Because I love that you mentioned Flow and Chainlink. Projects that our educators have been on about for ages. So let me just screen share. I mean, this is Bitcoin, if you haven't realized already. That is what happened when we broke that trend line last year. And since then, we've been flying up. You can see when the ETFs launched and how we're already 50% up, I believe, since the ETFs. So it's like from that point there to there, 49, whatever, 50%. Uh, going back to last year, you know, we've gone up. What is that? Let, let's, let's go from here. Since this point here, how much are we up to the ETFs? 186% to there. I need to go higher up to measure all the way. But I think you guys are getting the point. Like Bitcoin is on the move. And so this being an all-time high, 320% since December 22, guys. What is that, 14 months? Uh, yeah, not not bad, right? So let me let me jump over here, guys. So where I started learning was IM. You get involved in this space, you, you pay a few hundred bucks, you start learning from professionals. There's over 200 educators in this place, but when you're brand new, we've got a bit, we've got a crypto bootcamp where we've just ran, we're about to launch another one. That's why I wanna put on this call. I wanna show you what you actually get access to and why you need to start paying attention. So when you're brand new, you're gonna come in here, there's a bunch of videos. Uh, a lot of us are trading foreign exchange in a, in a day trading setting, I'm not focusing on that tonight. We're really helping people right now plug into all things crypto. So I'm going to minimize the stocks video on the crypto side of things, pre-recorded videos that are going to teach you everything about what is cryptocurrency, what is blockchain, what is Bitcoin, etc. And then from there, you move on to the magic space, which is go live. Now you get these educators that are teaching live inside the Stocks and Crypto Academy. In here, these guys, like I said, live every single day of the week. This is the schedule, guys. And when you're brand new, you know, Corinne Florence is doing our bootcamp perfect educator to listen to when you're brand new. So she's got some favorite videos in there. You know, the bootcamp that we're about to do is going to look very similar to the one we just did. Little 15 minute videos that I'm going to show you, you know, how to actually get involved in this space safely. You know, when I got started two and a half years ago, I was listening to, where is he? Curtis Cobain a whole lot, Mike Zotero, Nick Gomez, 
These guys are absolute weapons, guys. They've, they've been in here for a long, long time and helped a lot of people. Like we've had over a million students go through this stuff. And so, so with that, you know, what, what's next? So in the midst of that, I'll, I'm gonna go over here for a second. So my Swipecoin Scalper, this is a website. Type Swipecoin in the chat if you already have this app and are using it because this is the desktop version. And in here, our educators send us two things. They send us leverage ideas, which is a trade that you can go and copy and follow. And it might last a day or two, maybe three days, but you'll get a picture like this. What was this one? This is for, uh, I don't really know that project. So I'm gonna go back and look at one that I do uh, that I've actually taken advantage of. Let's go back Ethereum, right? Like all these Ethereum trades that Nick's been sending through lately have been insane. So, you know, he sends these ideas through and there's numbers you can copy and follow and then they back it up with results right so if you wanted to make a little bit of money every day and build that account you just watch me scroll back so these are these are tools that you're seeing we have a swipe point scalper you can learn how to utilize that particular scanner and go and trade in your own time but when you get past all the updates that you know charlie's been dropping in there you're going to get to these ones and you're going to see exit idea through that's the top line the top target line is hit that means his exit one two and three idea hit 1300 pips uh exit two was obviously hit if three was you go further back you're going to see more and more and more and it just keeps going these guys communicate about these trades while they're happening so when you're um in the midst of it say that there's a, a trade running while it's running you're going to see something like soul entry two is active uh where's another one i'm looking for i'm looking for something like there we go ethereum update is now uh, this trade is running 100 to 200 points in potential profit depending on your entry reduced risk and hold for the zone. So you're getting a text message to tell you when price is moving to the right zone and how to move your stop loss into profit. Meaning if you've risked say 1% of your fund on a trade, you're now at break even and then price keeps going, you can lock in profit, lock in profit. So that's that's day trading, which a lot of us do. And you can leverage the app for that. But exchange ideas, these are portfolio building investing ideas. So I heard Mike say Chainlink a moment ago. So let's go find, when did they talk about Chainlink? Just, I mean, they've been talking about it for years, but on the 30th of August, uh, who sent this out? It was, where's his name? I'm not seeing it right now for some reason. Someone's going to yell. Oh, Mike Satira. Great. Mike's brilliant. A bunch of us have spent time with him in a lot of different countries. But look at this picture, guys. Chainlink coming to a zone. $4, $5. What? And there's the first exit at 15 The other exit's at 25 35 So what if, where, where did price go on Chainlink? Let me get in my trading view for a second because I've got it on my chart. Let's go to Link. Where That is when they sent in that trade. There's the all-time highs up there. That is when we got a notification on our phone to buy Chainlink. And it's up, like I said, I marked it up there about 200 and something percent at this point, 250% potentially, 230. If you bought into Chainlink, when our educators were talking about it inside the app. So there's Chainlink, which Mike referenced. Uh, I've seen Flow in there as well. I bought into Flow a long, long time ago. Uh, let's get back into the exchange idea. So guys, this is what I'm saying with this is, if you're brand new and you wanna learn how to build a portfolio, our educators already do the research. They've got a coin list of things that they've vetted. They know the developers, they know the people, not personally, but they know the people with the track record in the crypto space. You're not just buying a coin because it's got a, a picture of a monkey or a dog on it. Despite, I know we've got some strong believers in some of those coins probably on the, on the call right now, but you're buying things that have got legitimate adoption. And I know Doge has got adoption. Etienne's gonna slap me if I say something bad about them. Elon loves it. But um, right now, ENS, here's another one, Ethereum name service. So this uh, got sent out, I believe, let me let me go back. It was November 14th. Let's go to my chart. What's ENS? The Ethereum naming service. So when you see .com, people can now go, they like things like GoDaddy, register a website and it'll say .eth. So that's what ENS is. So what happened after that idea got sent through? That trade ran, I believe, 200% in 60 odd days at that point. There we go. It ran 200%. It, there we go. You can see that. So that's tripling your investment in 60 days. Smashed through the first couple targets and went beyond that as well. The next one is sitting up there at 38. But guys, this is the kind of thing that we get access to inside of this app. If you want to know more about it, this is how you do it. So where are we? Crypto made easy. Guys, our educators... Our leaders, they put together a boot camp. It involves our educators on the platform. Some of our leaders, they're going to run this boot camp again. So 21 day boot camp, crypto made easy. Uh, if you want to know more about it, go to this website, thefreedomlaunch.com forward slash crypto. Two minute video there. Nice little 30 minute video here where Melanie is talking oh, about what to experience. 
and all the different things, right? So you get access to a private Telegram group where you can ask tw questions, uh, you know, and there's 25 days worth of 15 minute little action steps and videos. Every day you're gonna get an email and it's gonna take you straight to the video of the day. And then, so once you've actually joined IM, so guys, this bootcamp's totally free for any of our students on the inside. How to get started, get back with whoever shared this video with you or invited you to the Zoom. It costs a few hundred bucks to join, guys. And even if you only were with us for a month, which I'd be surprised at, uh, you're gonna be able to take advantage of this bootcamp and have an accelerated learning journey in crypto. So once you are a student, if you're on this already and you have not joined, this is where you register, cryptomadeeasy.vip. In there, you've got the registration closes in one day and 23 hours. So if you're watching this later, hang out for the next one. But like I said, guys, this, this is just the overview. It's a light overview of what you can experience. Uh, there's going to be three live Zooms happening on our Tuesdays, I believe, at 8 a.m. And if you miss those, that's totally fine. They're going to be dropped. The recordings will be dropped inside the Telegram chat so you can have access to it in there. So, guys, with that, you know, I know we've got a lot of students on here already that have, have been making bank with us, learning how to trade, following SwipeCoin, all that kinds of stuff. And and, I, and we have one that recently dropped a pretty cool success story in, a, in our group chat. And I know he was actually running late to the Zoom tonight because he was at church, but I saw him hop on and I, I sent him a text. I'm like, hey, man, if you're still up for it, I'd love to actually rip you on here for a minute to get you to share because his message really lit me up. You know, we met when, you know, we stayed at the Airbnb in Rotorua, absolutely gorgeous place on the lake. We got chatting last year in June. And was just really impacted by him, his family, and started chatting a bit more. Found out he he had spent some time in crypto in the past. Uh, he can elaborate on how much of a success story that was. But um, but then decided to get started here. And he's a busy, busy guy. And I told him, you know, for you, maybe don't focus on learning how to trade two hours a day. Just follow this app and see where it goes for you. Build your own experience, build your own story, and let's see where we get to. And so he dropped an amazing message in our group chat just a few days ago. So I thought it'd be amazing to rope him on here to share just for a couple minutes. So guys. I'm gonna, Danny, if you can unmute yourself, it's gonna make me a lot easier to find you and pin you to the screen. And then guys, can you all drop some love in the chat for Danny? Cause this is so last minute. Let me find, I can see you up there. Okay, hang on, there we go. Let me click this. Let, let me pin you. Yes, there you go. Oh bro, so good to see your face. Yo, man, yeah, uh, I'm good, so, man. I just really Thanks. appreciate you jumping on. Super last minute. Yeah. And, um, but you really inspired yeah. me with that text, a, a lot of our team as well, because Bro, three months, if that, since you got started, I'm gonna hand it over to you and, and for a couple of minutes to share your history in crypto, why you got started and, and what it's been like for you so far three months in. And, and you can be you can be as transparent as you want to or you don't have to, you can talk money percentages, whatever. This is a private Zoom call. And I'll say this guys, just like Mike said, not financial advice, whatever Danny's story is, that's because of the focus and energy he's put in and applied. And your story will be your story based on the effort you put into it. So Danny, over to you, my man, let's go. Uh, thanks, Ty. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for um, yeah, inviting me even in the first place to join this academy and learn more. Um, so a few years ago, I, I heard about my brother-in-law getting into crypto. It was taking off in 21. And so I thought, oh, let's buy, you know, just a, I think it was a couple of thousand in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and it dropped. And then I just watched my investment, like you said, you know, I don't know if you mentioned it today, but you've mentioned it previously. Anyway, just plummet. And then I, anyway, I held it in there. It grew. Um, and I, I'm trying to think. It, yeah, in the end, like when I joined the academy in November, I, um, sorry, let me just, yeah. In November, I had a, I had a couple of thousand in crypto. And, and then um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to learn to trade with a demo account, follow the, the tips that you know the educators are sending on swipe coin and and you know the ones that don't take long to to action you know you're just sort of a bit of a set and forget you put in those numbers and and you wait to see and you know for a couple of months i used the demo account and i saw that man they're hitting 80 percent of their predictions are like are coming true and i was like quite impressed i was like wow this is this is good this has got something you know, a good potential. And so I thought, you know, I want to create a, a live account and, and start with like, I started with about 310 US because I transferred a little bit of um, Bitcoin or Ethereum into this, you know, trading account. And um, I started following as well, like the the tips that they're sending through, um, through SwipeCoin. And, um, you know, risking a, a small amount of my you know, 310 portfolio, which was, uh, you know, like I worked it out at 50 US dollars max. So, which means if if that trade went south or went in the opposite direction, 
of the prediction, the most that I would have lost out of my 310 would have been 50 US. Um, and then also the, you know, what I would have made and, you know, I said it so that take profit is also at 50 US. If I'm losing you with the numbers and, and the terms, basically all I'm saying is the loss was limited and the profit was set in. And so sometimes, you know, like I would just wake up in the morning, check, okay, that trade won, you know, and then my account would have grown or my account would have gone down. And so I tested it for a month between the 5th of Feb and the 5th of March. And um, I started with 310 on the 5th of Feb, and it grew to 560 uh, by the 5th of March. And so I was like, I was like, whoa, this is, this is pretty amazing. It's a 80% growth in a month. And I know, I mean, the, um, you know, the markets were going sort of in, in a good direction and, and, you know, Ethereum and, and Bitcoin was, were growing as well. So anyway, that, those were the main ones that I was, um, the tips I was taking. So it wasn't always a win. There were some losses, but overall I was, I was pretty impressed. And now I'm just trying, I'm learning how also part of the education is like not to get into the euphoria and start treating this like to, to sort of bet more and, and um, you know, control and just be like in that whole slow, steady mindset. So again, this is a, you know, because previously I would have just been like, this is too good. Let's just put everything in. And then, you know, like what, you know, the warning signs um, that if you're not well educated, then your emotions are running the show. So I must say, I'm, I'm grateful to be, yeah, again, part of, to receive not only good, I guess, tips and education, but also the emotional maturity to be like, don't just go all in, but just go slow, steady growth over time is where, you know, it's going to get you in the right some places so yeah man thanks heaps i'm i'm enjoying the journey and um yeah enjoying the ride thanks for you and and the team that are part of it oh man danny thanks so much bro just uh, I've, I've got so much love for you and your family as it is but it's been so fun to be a part of this journey with you for the last few months and just watch you knock it really like i mean you're a busy guy <laughs> and, and and with that like i just love how you've been able to with a busy life you know young family multiple things going on uh, to be able to still take advantage of this and, and for anyone watching it's like you know i, I just i love it like obviously your story is going to continue and, and you're running in profit that's the main thing but for anyone else like if you're watching this tonight like you know what danny was able to do with those numbers you know some people start with 10 or 20. Some people start with a few hundred. Some people start with a few thousand. You can see it still doesn't really matter. You start with a demo account, start with fake money. When it comes to the little day trades that we're talking about, when it comes to investing in the markets, yeah, you need some money to put into something. And, um, and I know people right now that are liquidating assets to be able to invest in crypto because they know what's going on and they know that at a time like this, it's a pretty amazing time to be investing in things. Now, I'm not giving you financial advice. You need to figure that stuff out for yourself. But really, block one is get educated. Every professional out there, whether it's Tony Robbins or anyone, they'll say you need to invest in yourself before you invest in a market because you otherwise you're basically gambling. You don't know what you're doing. You, you're just crossing your fingers and toes that something's going to go up. But really long term, like it's one thing that our educators give us some trade ideas. It's it's their way of showing us how the markets are going to move and how they're learning to analyze and we can copy and follow. But behind that, there, there's, a, there's education where you can learn to do it in your own time. And the bulk of our community does that. Swipe coin's brilliant. It's kind of a little bit of, excuse me, earn while you learn. I did something very similar to Danny in my first few months and then started to really dive into it. I want to learn how to do this so I'm empowered. So I have a skill set to be able to invest, a skill set to be able to trade. And, um, and that's what we're all about here, getting empowered so that we can actually then create a much different financial future. And, and obviously with what Michael shared earlier and what Danny shared too, there's two sides to this. There's the, you should be paying attention to crypto in general right now from an investing standpoint. And the other side with most of what Danny was sharing about was learning how to trade means that no matter, this is another thing we already covered tonight, but whether markets go up or down, when you're trading, it doesn't matter. Some of the trade ideas that come through could be buys, they could be sells. And if you struggle to understand that, go watch a movie called The Big Short, uh, you know, with Brad Pitt and Ryan Gosling, all those guys, you, they, that's a documentary on, not documentary, that's the movie on the GFC, the global financial crisis uh, back in 2008. And there's another one where Matt Damon narrates a movie called Inside Job. And that's more of a documentary where they're interviewing the people that, you know, caused a lot of that crash but basically you're able to short the market you're able to make money when things go down so from an investing standpoint yes we're talking about learning how to invest in crypto safely securely and as fast as possible so that you can take advantage of things that are going on and at the flip side you're going to learn a skill set of trading which means you're going to learn how to make money 
even when things eventually go down. Because everything that goes up, it can't go up forever. There are pullbacks. And in those seasons as a trader, we learn to actually make money even when things are going down. So that's a whole other conversation we'll say for another night. We've got plenty of content on the YouTube channel somewhere around here or on the Facebook page for you for that. But right now, guys, the main call to action is for you to, if, if you're brand new to this and you don't want to get left behind, I am screaming this left, right, and center that you just have to get educated because what, what Mike was dropping, hopefully you realize that we're still early and, and you can go and fumble your way through YouTube and try and figure this out for yourself. But I've seen enough of people do that and I tried it a little bit in, in the beginning as well. You can do that if you want to do that, but you've got to ask yourself, what's the cost of not doing this the right way, which could be losses. At the same time, it could just be delayed in that sense of, I mean, you have like, hopefully you saw enough value tonight from just the swipe coin app and the education to know that spending a few hundred dollars to get started and beyond a month, it's up to you whether you want to keep going. But this bootcamp guys, 21 days um, for crypto made easy. You get an email every single day. There's going to be three live zooms, like I said, they'll be recorded where, you know, Melanie's going to be dropping a whole lot more than just, this is not just crypto education as bootcamp. Melanie has, is an outstanding businesswoman. She is leading a huge team of people all over the world where she helps people become empowered. She actually specializes in helping women specifically create the brands, bank accounts, and businesses that they love through also learning how to become financially fit. And that's a whole lot more than crypto. There's a whole lot in there. She actually loves to help women become empowered so that God forbid something happens to their husbands. They're able to actually run the place and be seven secure because she was kicked out of her house by her ex-husband, ended up in a homeless shelter with her daughter and, and started all over again. So she's taken that mess, turned it into a message. And so she She's adding a ton of value in our community among many other leaders and educators. And so part of that bootcamp is learning from her directly a whole lot more than crypto. But then, like I said, that email, you're going to get one email every day with a link to a video that Corinne Florence is going to be doing 15, 20 minute video, which is going to take you through the basics of how to get into crypto safely, securely, how to invest, how to trade, how to build a portfolio, all that stuff. So that the goal being by the end of 21 days, you're empowered to then continue your learning and, and potentially continue your earning at that point. So with that, guys, I don't want to take any much longer tonight. Bootcamp starts Tuesday morning, New Zealand our time. So it's it's technically the 11th in America, but it's the 12th for us. So you got about a day or two days left to register for that. Uh, if you're watching this later and you want to get involved, let us know. Reach out. We'll, there must still be a way. There might be a future bootcamp. Who knows? But for now, take advantage of this one. We just had all-time high. Like Bitcoin has literally just broken the all-time high. It is an extremely exciting time to be in the space to learn about this. So guys, with that, just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you for showing up live this evening on Zoom and I can see on Facebook as well or watching this recording. Just get back to whoever invited you here or share this video with you. They can help you get started. They can break down what it looks like to, to join our academy, what it costs, the different options that may suit you. Maybe even get you on the phone with myself or someone else to help you figure out what your goals are primarily so you can start to define what you you want your life to look like in one, two, five, ten years time, and then start figuring the kind of money that you want to make. Whether you want to just build a portfolio and create long-term legacy wealth and crypto for yourself, your kids, your grandkids, you know, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's in Proverbs. We've got to figure that stuff out. And the journey as well might be creating a different kind of cash flow for yourself, different kind of income, learning how to trade so that over the next one to three years, you've got a skill set where you've learned how to trade and make money where the markets go up or down. And there's other options too, where you can learn about how to build a brand, how to build a business online and create instant cash flow. It's completely up to you. So depending on what your goals are, get back to whoever shared this with you. Can't wait to see you on the inside. I'm going to say welcome to the team in advance. We are growing at a rapid rate. Really excited for what's happening in this space. And it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to our Freedom Investor team, living the fit life. Basically, life on the highest level possible, guys. I want to see everyone in our community experience the highest level of spiritual fitness, mental fitness, emotional fitness, physical fitness, and at the same time, financial. And, and during these times, things are going a little bit sideways in the economy, and I want to see people empowered and confident to actually succeed and thrive. So with that, guys, I'm going to throw on a tune and say thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see you in our group chat and on the inside. Have an amazing time. And once again, huge thank you to Michael and to Danny for being with us this evening and to all of you showing up. Enjoy, and we'll see you on the inside. All right. Good night, everyone.